Hello Connectsit family welcome to Connectsit training videos today in this video i'll be showing you how you can connect airtable with n different apps using connectsit so let's get started so before you creating a workflow you have to authorize airtable inside connectsit so to authorize airtable please do follow these steps so this is uh, pretty important so just search for airtable click on the app click on add account and it will ask you for token so i will going to show you how you can actually generate airtable token inside your airtable account so please do follow these steps go to airtable and go to the developer hub so that will be inside your account so just click on developer hub and click on personal access token so once you click on personal access token so there will be an option to create token just click on create token and name your token so i'll just name this as connects with demo you can name it as you want and make sure you add the scope so i prefer adding all the scopes written over here so just for the safer side just add all the scopes select all these scopes over here and don't forget to select this webhook manage so this is very pretty important to manage your webhooks that is basically your trigger so just select that so basically you select all these scopes and go to selecting the base click on add a base and you can select which base or workflow workspace you are uh, you know you wanted to work for so i'll just select connect it demo so you can select all current and future bases also if you want to select all the bases in your workspace so i'll just select this option so whichever you will be selecting over here in the base it will be available to choose between so now click on create token it will pop you up with the token just copy the token and go to connect it and paste it and click on s and continue that's it so you successfully authorized a table inside connect it so now go to a table and click on save so this will be saved inside your a table account so now go to connect it so i'll just click on create connect and i will start by naming my workflow just name as a table to gmail and whatsapp so i will be sending an whatsapp message and gmail so whenever there is a new trigger in a table so for this select the trigger that is the app that is a table drag and drop the app and select your account select your trigger as like i will be selecting as new record so whenever there is a new record i will select that as trigger so you can either select new or updated record as well so i will select new record and select the base so as i shown so whenever you selected the base so the whichever the base you selected over there when you are adding creating your token so that will going to display here so now i will select connect it demo and select your respective table on the same and basically you have to choose the column which when which is the important column when you wanted your uh, workflow to trigger basically so i'll select the email field so i can like basically your mandatory field so you can select that so i'll just select as email and then it on test and review randomly it will fetch the value of your fields so basically name email and phone number and then click on okay so make sure you have this created but inside your a table so otherwise uh, it will be difficult to fetch your record so that's it so it will fetch the a table record so i will show you my a table how it looked like my work workspace basically i'll just click on that so it has name field email field phone number field and status and this field is mandatory so this field should be you know all your a table uh, record should have this particular column mandatory field so just go to to add this just go to click on plus and select this particular created time so when you select this created time and just click on create field automatically that will going to uh, create a column inside like this inside your table so it should be mandatory you should have that column for your workflows to trigger so now let's go to connect it back again so we have that email id all the records so now i will just select before selecting gmail i will just format my data using text formatter So just say that much text option. So I just say hi with me. 
thanks for choosing connect set so just click on validate so now I will use gmail to send an email you can use any other email tool as well so select your account select the action and just give it to the body and also the email connect email to the email field and your subject and, and it on test and review so this will going to send a test email to the email address and now what i do is i'll just go ahead and create whatsapp send whatsapp message so basically you have to create a template for whatsapp using whatsapp cloud api so you can follow my previous tutorial how to set up whatsapp cloud api and create a template i'll add that in description as well so, so just select your account select the action as send template message and select your template so i'll just select as connect it welcome and my template does look like this so basically it says so it says it has an you know media basically and it says uh, hey Rakesh welcome to connect family so thanks for choosing connect and it has also a footer and call to action so visiting my site with sign up for free button so you can see the template does look like this so which will be active and it has to be approved as well so now let's go back to connect it so now let's start connecting phone number field to the phone number field and header image so header image i'll just copy from here so header image you can give any image you want as per my template and select the name field to the name field and it on test and review so automatically it will send an whatsapp message to my whatsapp account so that does look like this so you can see that it says hey John Do, welcome to connect family thanks for choosing the no code automation platform and it has an you know like clickable button as well which will go to sign up action so now we are done with our workflow we'll go ahead and publish our workflow and let's test this workflow as well so let's go to Airtable and create a new row so go to Airtable and add a new row and then here I add a David and I will give my email ID just to show the demo and I will add the number same number just for the demo purpose and click on ok so once we add this automatically so based on our workflow so we will be receiving an email so let's go ahead and refresh that email yes you can see that so we received an email with the subject line as connected demo and it also says hi david thanks for choosing connected happy automation so similarly we will receive an whatsapp message as well it says hey david welcome to connected family thanks for choosing no code automation platform so this is how you can use airtable inside connected so basically as a trigger and for action so i'll be doing it in our next video so airtable is successfully integrated inside connected so if you have any questions on this particular integration do drop me on the comment section below thanks for watching this video guys make a best use of this integration have a great day